There is a quicker way to uh, anonymize uh, a folder. Uh, and if we click on Joe Blogs and we anonymize, we identify patient name and ID along with all the other uh, parameters we've already described. We identify the case again as case 001, put in another entry and a patient ID. You can see that at the bottom of this screen there is a box to be checked, which we've checked in this case, which says that after anonymization the original file will be replaced. And if that's checked, uh, this will be done. This will be uh, it will replace the original folder uh, for Joe Blogs uh, automatically. So if you anonymize, it'll then give you two further options. Uh, one, to remove the, um, the the folder named Joe Blogs from the album, which we uh, from whence we took the data, or alternatively to delete all. And if we press delete all, it will delete the information both from the database and the album. If we had just uh, identified delete from the album, it would have replaced case 001 within the album, but within the main database, Joe Blogs would still remain. Well, we're now going to uh, look at some basic editing functions that I found useful in uh, creating teaching files. And the first thing we're going to do is look at uh, thinning down uh, a series that's been imported. If we first look at the uh, Axial data set, we may want to firstly rename the data set, secondly we may want to reduce the number of sections and also clip redundant uh, uh, images at the front or back end of a data set. And this is how we do it. We move to File, we click on Export Function, and then move down to Export to DICOM because we want to maintain our images in DICOM format for maximum flexibility. This window pitches up, and because we're working with a, a series, we want all of the images in the series to be included. And when we save them, we will save them as displayed in the 16-bit window. Now the reason we do that is because if we wanted to save them as soft tissue, we could save them as soft tissue, but if we wanted to demonstrate something in a bony window, we windowed this image appropriately, it would save them as bony windows. So we could save a number of different data sets um, as either soft tissue or bony, and we could, uh, and we could save the series name according to the, uh, the type of data set we've saved. Now when we move down, we can see that we can vary the interval. So at the moment it's set to 1, which means that effectively uh, every image would be included if we saved it. If we shift this to the right, we can see that we, if it's interval of 2, we would save alternate images. And then the number of images also reduces on the bottom. At the moment here, we've, uh, we're saving every fifth image, and there would only be 33 images in the total stack. The next um, icon refers to where we start. Now if there are very many redundant images at the beginning of the series, we could move this slider along to start at image 18, and the lower image could be slid backwards if there were redundant images at the bottom end that we didn't necessarily need. So having completed this, we can then name our series as we would wish. In this particular instance, we'll uh, call it CT Cervical Spine Bone Windows. and then we'd save this data set. And what we can now see is that a second, a second data set has appeared with axial images on the left-hand side of the screen uh, with uh, 27 images in, whereas the original data set had 165 images. This is a much more manageable data set uh, when you're teaching. Now we need to delete the original of these uh, data sets. And the way we would do this is to go back to our uh, original data set on the main data screen. We can see the original axial C-spine data set and we can delete those by moving up to the top bar, delete, and then we're just left with our new uh, data set 
of a much uh, limited number which are much more usable. Another very useful uh, editing function is the ability to lose patient information from ultrasound and nuclear medicine examinations which are burned onto the film and not part of the DICON data set. In this particular ultrasound image we've already uh, lost the patient data but we're just going to show you how to lose the uh, Toshiba logo which to a certain extent is a similar process to losing the patient name. If we go up to the top bar we can see that there's a little diagonal green line and if we toggle on this we'll see there's a rectangle. Uh, choose this and then draw a rectangle out over the Toshiba logo. Now the ultrasound will be part of a series and we want to seed this uh, particular process throughout all of the others rather than do it for each individual one. So if we then move up to the region of interest um, icon we drop down to the propagation uh, tool, propagate selected region of interest, select this and choose the entire series because you want it throughout the ultrasound series and press OK. This will now appear on every one of the images. Now in order to black out the Toshiba we again go up to the region of interest uh, column, we go down to set pixel values and these will be automatically uh, set at an appropriate level and if we um, select OK, this will automatically turn all of the areas over the Toshiba and all of the images black. And a similar function could be performed uh, to overlie the patient name, in this case in an ultrasound, but you could also do this for a nuclear medicine examination as well. Now, having done this, we need to save this. Because at the moment, uh, when we go out of this particular patient or series, it will not be saved. So if we go to the File function, we come down to Export. Again, we want to export as DICOM. We export all images. You need to make sure that uh, the interval is 1 and that we start from image number 1 and go right to image number 12. Sometimes these cursors tend to drift. And we now need to identify this specifically as another examination name, i.e. ultrasound abdomen 2, which will uh, differentiate this from the original data set. And if we press OK, if we look on the left hand side, we will see in the second column there is a second set of data which is, uh, which is now being derived, which has the second examination series, which will be truly anonymized. At this particular point, if we go back, to our case, we see the two uh, series, and we can delete uh, the one with the uh, the patient uh, name.